Welcome back. Uh, we have set up our uh, iPhone. The next, we are gonna set up the same for Android devices. So let's open up my Android phone. And I believe that we have downloaded uh, on track application earlier. So let's open up the form. Please score is ignore all the points already there. Okay, so let's go to uh, preference here over here and and preference. Let's go to preference and uh, uh, go to the connection section. Then we're gonna see that uh, private MQTT. So that's the setting that we are we are gonna do. So then go to the host. Then please enter the the host host name over here. Remember that uh, it will be the first uh, broker name host over here. Then we use the port one a a three. Remember to uncheck to turn the WebSocket off. Sometimes you know is on is is on as default. So that's accepted. Then go to the ID at the then vacation. So that's enter. I will use crystal. I crystal this time. And password crystal. That doesn't matter, but uh, just in case. Trigger ID. And they usually the device name. Device name uh, for this device. I will say N. Android OID one. How about that? Okay. Then trigger ID. There will be two characters only. So I will use uh, uh, C one. Okay. How about that? It's just uh, you know. Do what you like. So we accept it here. Then go to security to make sure it's off. Then go to uh, parameter parameters. Then is off too. Okay. So that's <coughs> go back to last page. Then our connection should be ready. So let's see. Go back to the front page. Then let's see the status to see if that is connected. So you can see that uh, the status is connected here. Okay, and no endpoints. And here is a uh, here is a. Uh, Current time service. Let's back up. Okay, so we should see that our C1 is on the map right now. So let's go to the map to see if that is there. And let's click report. Okay, so as you can see that uh, the C1 is here. Here is uh, our C1. Okay, C1 is in the center. Okay, and we also can see other 
points available. Okay, so uh, in Android, I found that uh, some parameters has to be set up correctly. So let's go to uh, notification, and you make sure all the all the you know options are turning on. Then go to advanced. Okay, then uh, I will go to the third locator background displacement. That means the distance between between location updates. I will suggest you set it uh, fifty. That means uh, fifty meters. Then it will report. Okay. Because uh, in the original setting, that should be a very large number. Okay, so I would suggest for test only, especially uh, that you set it smaller. And the second, the and another setting is the locator background interval. I would say that you set uh, the twenty seconds or sixty seconds for updates. Okay, so we can receive the the more frequent updates in our testing, but uh, in the future, if don't want to see that uh, uh, the want to see the device to report so frequently, and and for power saving uh, purpose, so you can you know adjust from here. So that will be all. That I believe that uh, our uh, setting is already set up. So you can see all the points over here. Then we can, you know, click here to report manually, or the device will uh, regularly update when you know device is uh, uh, distance is larger than certain. Uh, Distance meters, or the 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 device will also report maybe like uh, twenty seconds regularly. Okay, so let's see that uh, if our points are reported to uh, on tracks, we can do the same over here as you can see our last video that uh, the points re reported uh, the Android Android form reported to here to the server will be received from here okay then we can see the uh, the lock over here from here Okay, so let me push a data to see if can if we can receive. Okay, as you can see, that I just press here, and we can see a message received from our server. Okay, so let me do that again. Let me do that again. Okay, it's over here. Okay, ignore the other message. Okay, so uh, that is correctly set up. That means that our our Android phone is uh, reporting to uh, record it correctly, and let's see that uh, if our recorder. Also receive the location. Let's refresh it, and we can see that uh, the crystal Android one is correctly reporting the location to the recorder server. Then let's see that uh, from the live map auto zoom. Okay, so uh, you know the 
the Android one is over here. This is my location. Okay, so that will be all for our uh, two mobile phone setup. You can see that is uh, very easy to set up, and uh, our uh, server can uh, catch all the data correctly from NORAD and record it. So next, that uh, we will do the uh, geofence setting to receive the event notice. So see you next.